Squeakers, and welcome back to Minecraft Old Timers Edition. Uh, as you can see, I am currently here at this gigantic castle of Little Mama Bears, and I came over here because I wanted to grab a few enchantments to put on my armor here, because my armor's starting to get a little worn down. Uh, and I also wanted to put some on my sword as well, as long as I'm here. Uh, so, I figured I'll go ahead and get that started. Mama Bear does know what I'm doing. As a matter of fact, she's here with me. Um, I, I think she moved ahead to... Uh, I, I think to meet me at the Pigman farm. Uh, no, I, I went to go make me a shovel. Oh, okay, add a shovel. Uh, so, I, I am currently heading for the Pigman farm. And I, 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 I have a confession to make. Um, the... The underwater city that I'm planning to make is kind of at a strange place because, uh, well, most of what you're gonna, uh, what you would see in what I'm building right now would be really boring to watch. Uh, basically, I'm creating a gigantic sand dome uh, right now, and it's only maybe about, I don't know, halfway done, roughly, half, uh, about halfway to two-thirds done or so, and it's just at a really boring part, uh, and it's probably not a whole lot of fun to watch, but I figured, uh, at least you can kind of see where I am so far, and, uh, whoops, oh boy, uh, that, this, this, uh, boat thing always kind of messes me up here <laughs> it's super fast but you get caught on walls so uh, i am heading back to that pigman farm that i showed you all in a previous episode uh so that i can put uh i can get now as you can see i already have 45 levels but that's n <laughs> that's not going to be enough levels to put mending on all this stuff so we're going to head up that way right now uh, so that we can not only uh, put the mending on there, we'll also be able to have enough levels uh, and, and enough experience to actually fix uh, our uh, badly damaged armor. So, that's kind of the plan today. I intend, uh, I'm going to uh, take care of this and kind of get this part done, and then I'm going to, as you can see, I already have some sand on me, um, I'm going to head over to my underwater dome. Um, I'll also show you uh, a new rail system that I have added to the uh, really long uh, rail system. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think you've seen the, uh, the, huge, uh, the rail system that I have created. So maybe I'll show that off as well. So, okay, so let's grab our snowball right there. And there it is. And, hey, uh, dude, catch! Oh, 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 you gonna bring your gang on me? Is that what it is? I try to play some games, and you bring your gang? Is that what it is? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, fortunately, you're all gonna die, so. <laughs> okay. Mwahaha. Okay, so we have our anvil right here, and we're going to start with our sword. Let's start with the sword. And 33! Bam! <laughs> and that's done. Okay, so we're going to put... Let's see how badly damaged uh, some of this stuff is. I really gotta get this fixed. So we're going to go ahead and strip some of this off. Um, and I'm waiting for the experience to start rolling in. Hi! Oh, hello! <laughs> I, I believe that was Haven. Uh, that, Hi! Yep, it sure is. Is, is, is that Haven? Why am I not getting experience? What's your name? That sounds like my story. Oh, for Pete's sake. Damn. You know what? I'm a, I'm a silly goose. I forgot to turn on the, uh, the thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me turn on the the pigman farm here. Oh, oh, oh. Why? Well, hello. <laughs> Hi, little maestro. Oh, here, let, oh, oh, goodness. 
Hi. Oh gosh, I cannot. Hi. I can't do this to save my life. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. What's? What are you doing? Get. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh no. What happened? Oh my gosh. And I'm way over here. <laughs> uh, I'm at my igloo. <laughs> well, I guess this is the perfect time to show you uh, my, my rail system. Uh, as you can see, I've expanded the base here a little bit. Uh, and I'll go ahead and show you uh, the rail system that I have built. Um, since I'm heading that way anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, as you can see, I decided to put it underground. Uh, I'm down at diamond level. I figured as long as I'm making a gigantic rail system, I may as well do it underground and get some diamonds while I'm at it. Uh, and hopefully our stuff won't despawn while I'm uh, while we're we're making our way back there. I'm really hoping nobody is in that chunk. And I'm really hoping we didn't just lose all of our stuff. I can't believe I took all of my stuff off and, and completely forgot. That 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 pig man, pig man farm is not secure. That is very not secure. Uh, ugh. That'll that'll teach me to forget to uh, to to turn off my uh, to, to to forget to turn on and turn off the, uh, the what do you call it uh, the pig man farm. <laughs> Now, as you can see, this is a really long tunnel. Uh, as a matter of fact, this rail uh, in its entirety is actually long enough to be able to get the on a rail achievement. Uh, however, I have this big block, as you can see as we're coming up. I have this block in the way for reasons of it's a split. See how I split it right here? Uh, I'm going to grab this real quick eh, and place it down there. Okay, so that way is back to uh, our little mountain recluse, uh, reclusive uh, area back there. The farm and the ranch and all that stuff. This way, you will see in a moment. In just a couple of seconds here, let's go up this great big steep area. Oh, it's snowing. Uh, we are at the portal. So, let me grab this real quick. Um, hmm. Uh, you know what? I will... You know, I'm just gonna keep that there for the time being. Uh, let me get in here. I need to make my way back to the pig man farm. Uh, and I can't dawdle too much. That's what I needed that for. I knew I had a reason for grabbing that. Try and collect my stuff. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'm. I don't think my stuff was was. I mean, I wasn't wearing any of my armor, so I doubt any of it got damaged by by my death. Uh, it's all just dropped, and Lord knows where it is now. Uh, but be careful, little mama bear. They might still be angry. Um, because they, the, the pigman farm was on and it was activated, so they might be angry. So just be prepared, you might have to fight. Okay, so we are back here again. And I believe it was this way? No, it was over here. Uh, that's the, no, that's the squid wither, that's the squid farm and the wither farm. Incidentally, down that way is where I'm getting all of my sand. There's a big desert there. Uh, this is the way, oh, geez, and my boat is at the end, so I'm just going to run it. And, um, so once we get, whoop. And so once we uh, get back and we put our my uh, our, our mending <laughs> onto our stuff and we get all that stuff repaired again, 
then we will make our way back to uh, the um, the the under the underwater city area. Oh my goodness! Come on. Ugh. Why am I? I must be hitting something. I don't know why I'm going so slow. Oh, it's because we we don't have our uh, our buff anymore. The little speed buff. Uh, yeah, uh, so we'll we'll be doing that once we get uh, uh, once we get our, our stuff mended and uh, repaired and and all that jazz. So eh, here we go. Ooh, er, okay, and we're going up, and we're here. Eh, 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 oh, okay, up up the ladder, and then okay, so up the ladder we go. Little Mama Bear, are you at the top there? Yes, I am. Okay. Did you did you get my all my armor and 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 my sword and my shovel? I am trying. See, that's the problem with dying up in this thing is that your stuff just goes everywhere, and uh, trying to um, yeah, trying to recover it is sometimes a, a bit of a hassle. Um, this place is uh, really not secure, and they really need to work on securing this place. Ah, okay, let me grab all this, uh, and all that, and, eh, uh, eh, eh, did it come up here? Uh, oh, okay, there's more stuff, and, oh, I, oh, shoot, I don't need golden swords and stuff. Uh, oh, uh, over here, did it, did it fall down? Oh, there we go, oh. I got most of it. Ah, gotcha. Thank you. Let me let me ditch this extra junk that doesn't matter. Um, okay, yeah, one. Okay, so four books of mending, a bunch of sand, shovel, sword, and my armor. Okay. Whew. <laughs> oh, and the torches. Oh, and the the food, the the meat. Yeah, cause I'm I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna need something. <laughs> oh, and my arrows. Okay, that's important. Uh. Shoot, uh, I can't carry that. <laughs> uh, okay, so, okay, so let me head, okay, so this is on, so let me go back up, oh, let me, first of all, let me eat, and, eh, okay, so let me, whoops, and let me go back up, and let's get all this stuff repaired again. Uh. Well, this isn't quite what I was expecting to do for this episode, but I suppose it works. <laughs> Sometimes these are how the episodes go, right? <laughs> All right, so... Yep, yeah. Okay, so I need to put on at least, like, one thing, so let's put that on for the time being. Let's at least put some pants on there, lion. Jeez. Walking around without pants on. Then again, I guess I am a lion, so it's, you know, not terribly important that I wear pants. So. Okay. Now that that thing is back on again, this should be much more uh, amenable to being fixed. Let's see. Uh, okay, so let's put that there and that there. Now that we've uh, burned up all of our levels. <laughs> uh, so this might take a little bit of wa a little bit of time. So I think I'm gonna fast forward through this part. So I will see you on the other side. That will do it. Uh, looks like we've got all of our stuff with mending. So over time, the rest of this will uh, repair itself. Uh, excellent. And we've got our sand back. And I guess we can head on to uh, the underwater city.
All right, let's, uh, now we need to make sure we turn the, the, the pigman farm off because uh, there is always the possibility that it might break while uh, no one was is here. Wow, look at all that fallen experience. And over here, oh my gosh. <laughs> look, little mama bear sweeping it all up. It's all like like swirling around her. <laughs> We're going to do the same thing. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, I came out here with 5 XP, and now I'm sitting at... Oh, just about 30. <laughs> now, we don't need any of this gold or anything. My, I mean, Lord knows we have plenty of gold. Um, oh, look at that. That's uh, some magma cube. Look, got uh, some... You know what? Um, I actually may... I may grab this, uh, this, this slime here. Whoops. There's a magma cube right there. Or, or magma. magma ball or... What the heck are those called? Uh, magma cream. That's what they're called. Um, so I'll just grab that while I'm here, because uh, I will probably find a use for that, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm going to head... Need any more gold? Uh, no, oh my gosh, there's plenty of it up there if we need it, and, and I, I have so much of it back at the, at the base, so I think I'm okay for now. Uh, although maybe eventually I will have some use for it, as I had a thought... Um, now, now, I'll grant you this is a little obscure, but there is a really old movie that was based off of, I mean, uh, it was like an old B movie from like the 60s, or, or maybe even the 50s, um, where it was basically, um, uh, it, it was about how these explorers are in the submarine and they find like Atlantis. Except Atlantis is now this underwater glass dome city. Uh, so, uh, and and the big deal about this glass, about this underwater city, is that a whole bunch of things, just your average things, were made of gold. Um, and uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember where the heck we were going from here. Um, we need to no. Where are we going from here? I don't remember. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. We've got the sand. We need to go back to the pack dice. Okay. Um, but the ev all the utensils and all the plates and everything was made of gold because gold was not valued in Atlantis. It was just considered another metal. Why is this not moving? Uh, it was just considered another metal. So um, I thought it might be kind of a cool idea to use something of a similar idea. Uh, maybe use uh, gold blocks um, as, as maybe some building materials uh, in, in our underwater city. Um, I, I'm not really planning on doing an a, a, a Atlantis replicant, a replication or anything nor that I want to uh, do, do like a Little Mermaid thing, and nor do I want to do... I don't want to copy anything. I want to kind of create my own things, but I also want to take inspiration uh, from all those, like, you know, the, all those old movies that had underwater cities. Um, and I just thought, you know, hey, I, I was reminded of it when I saw all that gold, and my thought was, well, heck, actually, you know, that's not a bad idea. Let's, you know, what if this underwater, or, or underworld, or underwater, underwater, uh, underwater city just used gold instead of iron? Um, the only problem is, is that you really can't make anything with iron except blocks. So, eh, eh. I, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to go about doing that. So. Or you can do um, gold and... Uh, what is that called? Uh, hold on. Brain fart. And I think we are being joined by Play Maestro. Hello, Play Maestro. Maybe. My mic was up. Hi, hi. <laughs> Uh, you all remember Play Maestro from our Halloween episode. Uh, okay, so finish your thought there, little mama bear. I could use it as... Well, I was thinking the gold could do, like, uh, uh, 
armor. Gold yes. armor. Okay. Oh, for like um like putting around um like armor stands with gold armor. Yeah. Oh, that's not a bad yes. idea. That's not bad too. Um, I thought, yeah, I, I, I do intend to use a lot of white uh, in my in my builds. Um, I'm already gathering up uh, as much polished diorite as I can uh, because I do want to use a lot of white uh, in my in my builds. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of white along this tunnel. I will eventually probably come through and. Uh, mine up all that stuff since it's handy and available. Uh, but uh, I, I, I'm thinking I might want to do like maybe um, a diorite castle with maybe some quartz uh, and um, some glowstone accents and uh, a little color here and there but mostly um, uh, mostly I want to use um, glass uh primarily in the build i want to i'm going to use a lot of glass i'm going to use a lot of white uh i just i don't know i kind of see it since this is an underwater city i kind of see um a lot of tr translucence um and transparency and a lot of white i guess in my mind i see i, I see that um oops uh, let's put this in here we'll have to transport that over to our um, over to our potion area later all right so let's load up uh, on some sand okay we well, looks like we're doing good and let's get some where is it uh, there's our potions so oops I grabbed too many so let's grab this and this and this and uh all right so um the rest of this uh episode is probably going to be a great deal of uh watching me place a lot of sand and travel around underwater and uh but i'll probably fast forward through quite a bit of that uh just so you can uh see me you know watch me build a little bit but uh you're not going to end up being you know bored out of your minds just watching some guy place sand uh <laughs> But, uh, and maybe, who knows, maybe we'll get joined later by, by some other players who, who might want to help. Hint, hint. Uh, so, and I'll show you how far I have gotten thus far. Uh, as you can probably, see, you might be able to see it underwater there. Uh, do you see, kind of see that, that sort of circular dome there under the water? I'm about to drink my potion and jump down into it and you can kind of see what I've done thus far. And I'll kind of talk through uh, the the whole general plan for the initial dome. Oops, there we go. And uh, let's, yeah, let's, uh, that's fine. Okay, so this is going to be, uh, as you can see, this 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 pillar of wood is kind of our center, just so I have a, a general idea of where we're going. Um, we're going to build uh, sort of a, a steep, not an exact perfect dome, because I figure... Um, in the, in an underwater world, um, you know, maybe they're not going to be perfect. They're going to use a lot, uh, a bit of roughness to their, to their builds. It'll be elegant, but rough, if that makes any sense at all. Um, and I'm going to keep on kind of building inwards and inwards and inwards, but then I'm going to have a sharp turn and have it cap off, whoops, cap off right about at the top here. Uh, that way we've got plenty of water above us and, uh, it, you know, we will definitively be underwater. And then, of course, uh, once we get all of this uh, sand placed down and this is completely filled up, we will surround the entire dome in glass and then we will dig out the entire dome. <laughs> and that will be our first major uh living area our first major construction area and then the, from there of course i will uh be expanding into that area i'll be expanding through this mountain range over into that area uh, i will probably be even expanding 
into uh, some of this other, these maybe some of these mountains here, and I'm going to be expanding down this way into that area. As I said, this is not going to be a dome. This is going to be a city. I'm going to turn this entire underworld into a city. Uh, I, I can't guarantee how fast it, that's going to be. <laughs> uh, this is probably going to be the absolute largest build I have ever contemplated. Um, without question. Uh, I can't imagine a build, uh, a build bigger than this that I have ever even contemplated, much less attempted. Uh, but that we are doing and we will continue to do. Um, so I don't really have anything else to say uh, at the moment. Uh, so I think I'm just going to hit the fast forward button at this point. And uh, I guess you guys get to watch me play sand for a little while. Uh, I promise I won't make you f uh, force you to watch this too much. Uh, the, we're, we're probably coming pretty close to an end of an episode anyway. So um, uh, enjoy me pl uh, placing sand. Hooray! Incidentally, Little Mama Bear has come to join us. Uh, hello, Little Mama Bear. Thanks for coming to help place all my sand. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, I, we, we have been busily putting down lots of sand, as you can see. This is extremely thrilling footage. <laughs> uh, but, you know, as you can see, this is an enormous amount of work. This is not a small task. Uh, I mean, you can see just with the fast forward part, how much sand I have gone through and and what have I accomplished? Like maybe not even like a complete or not even two full levels of sand yet. And how much more do I have? I mean, <laughs> you can kind of see and, and you can also see how much we've already done uh, with with how much sand we've already placed. So. This is going to be a, an enormous first dome. I, I kind of planned this to be the main, uh, whoops, the main dome uh, of the city. So the rest of the city uh, uh, areas will, they, they will have their own kind of little geometrical shapes. And I don't know if it's going to be dome or, but, uh, but uh, different underwater areas. Um, and there we go. Um, so, you know, each, each area will have its own special little design. Um, so it's not all going to be just your typical Gungan underwater dome. Uh, incidentally, that's also going to be one of the inspirations that I take uh, from my thing. It's, but it's all, it's going to be a great big, I don't know, it's going to be a, com it's a conglomeration of ideas. Um, I, I really don't have... Um, did we? Oh, that's right. I oh, that's right. I was trying to um, mark out. I was trying to mark out my my next wall or my my next level of inside wall, because uh, pretty soon I'm going to be going in, uh, taking a fairly sharp turn inward. So uh, that's what that was about. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to be taking a lot of inspiration from a lot of different sources. Um, so, uh, it, it's not going to be a replica of anything. It's going to be my own little underwater city, um, with, whoops, uh, with my, with my own designs, my own flaws, my own special take on it. And, uh, it, it, is it going to be art? Probably not. Uh, is it going to be creative? I hope so. I, I think it is. 
uh, the, the ideas I have in my mind, I think, are uh, going to be interesting and fun to make anyway. Um, this is probably the one truly boring part of the whole uh, uh, of this whole project is just filling in a bunch of sand, um, which we're going to have to do every single uh, room and expansion that we make. We're going to have to fill more sand. Uh, so we will definitely be keeping all of this sand so we don't have to strip out any more deserts. <laughs> which means... Uh, so, somewhere we're going to have an enormous number of chests full of sand. <laughs> okay, well, we have been placing a lot of sand. Uh, holy cow, lots of sand. Um, and as you can see, this is the top. We're almost to the end. Uh, so we're, we're going to let you watch the last bits of this, uh, of, of our sand placing. And... This shall be the, the first uh, milestone in the, the building of our underwater city. Uh, and a huge thank you to Little Mama Bear for helping me. Oh my gosh. I'd, uh, I'd have never been able to do this without her. Uh, that and also help from Professor X. Uh, he helped out quite a bit too. Uh, he's been a big help on this project. So thank you to Professor X. Um, and thank you to this to these squids who are proving to be not useful at all, but at least they're nice ambiance. <laughs> I had a couple of them swim by my head, and you can hear them swim. It's like yeah, okay. I gotta do this squish squish kind of sound. Um, but we've been uh, filling up lots of sand. We're about two and a half levels away, so I'm gonna fast forward this last bit, uh, uh, this last bit of, uh, of of sand placing, and uh, here we go. And doop, boop boop boop, and whoops, not that one. And done! Hey, hey! Look at this mound of sand. <laughs> so the next part will be to cover this entire dome in glass. I'm going to have to do a little digging around here to kind of even that out uh, to make sure that we have uh, the glass uh, evenly placed. But as you can see, it's deliberately... Uh, non-symmetrical. I've, I've done this deliberately, uh, partially because, um, I, as I mentioned before, this server wants to stay uh, prime. Oops, I'm running out of, I'm, I'm running out of breath here. Let me drink another potion here. Um, this server wants to stay primarily low tech. And so my thought was, if in fact there were a race of, of beings, if there were some sort of low-tech group that were to try to build an underwater city, well, they're not going to have exact mathematics, and they're not going to have uh, any sort of, uh, you know, exacting kind of perfect sphere kind of thing. It's going to be rough. It's going to be uh, kind of uh, a, little, a little ramshackle. So that's why I deliberately made it uh, a little off. Uh, I might make like uh, make a, a couple of adjustments here and there just to kind of make a little neater, uh, a little more maybe maybe a little more symmetrical. But for the most part, I'm going to leave this just as as unbalanced and and kind of quirky as it is right now. Um, that's kind of the point. Is I want it to look low tech. Um, and it's kind of hard to make an underwater city low tech. So I thought that'd make a nice little addition to our low tech thinking. So, all right. So, gosh, thank you so much, little mama bear. Appreciate you. Uh, and uh, also thank you to, um, 
to uh, uh, Professor X. I believe I already said thank you to both of you, but I'm going to do it again because you guys are both awesome. And that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed it, and thank you so much for all the support you guys have given me, uh, uh, for, for watching the videos and liking the videos uh, and subscribing to the videos. You guys have been terrific. I really, truly appreciate my fans, and you guys are amazing. Uh, thank you all so much for, for watching. Uh, as usual, please leave a like if you liked it, and uh, leave a... Or uh, if you're a regular watcher, hit that subscribe button. And uh, as always, everyone, always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars, but it takes someone special to be a lion that squeaks. So squeak on!